Meta just released Code Llama 70B, its most powerful coding model to date, and likely the most powerful coding model out there. Meta continues to shock me with its continuous contributions to open source artificial intelligence. And stick around to the end because I'm actually going to test out Code Llama 70B, and we're going to see if it can build the snake game in one go. Here's the announcement, AI at Meta. Today, we're releasing Code Llama 70B, a new, more performant version of our LLM for code generation, available under the same license as previous Code Llama models. So you can download the models right here. It does link you to a form where you have to request access. Now, I requested access back for Llama 2, and I got access within like an hour. So I don't think you're going to be waiting or you're going to get rejected. Just sign up, tell them you want to use it, and you'll probably get access quite quickly. And so there are three versions that it's coming out with. The base model, Code Llama 70B. There's a Code Llama 70B that was specifically trained for Python, which of course I'm super excited about. And then last, there's a Code Llama 70B Instruct model. Now, if we look down here, Code Llama 70B Instruct achieves 67.8 on human eval, making it one of the highest performing open models available today. Code Llama 70B is the most performant base for fine tuning code generation models, and we're excited for the community to build on this work. And one person asked right away, is it commercial use? Yes, Code Llama 70B models are available under the same license as Llama 2 and previous Code Llama models to support both research and commercial use. And you can find all of the details of the license right here. And here's what Mark Zuckerberg has to say about the release. We're open sourcing a new and improved Code Llama, including a larger 70B parameter model. Writing and editing code has emerged as one of the most important uses of AI models today. And I could not agree more. You already know that I believe believe artificial intelligence is going to make programming obsolete because there's going to be a much easier natural language direct to compute with large language models. Large language models are going to take our natural language, write code, and execute them on end devices essentially making apps useless. The ability to code has also proven to be important for AI models to process information in other domains more rigorously and logically. I'm proud of the progress here and looking forward to including these advances in Llama 3 and future models as well. So here we go. He also again confirms Llama 3 coming soon. And already there are fine-tuned models coming out. Here's Rishab from Defog Data saying, we just open sourced SQL Coder 70B. It outperforms all publicly accessible LLMs for Postgres text-to-SQL generation by a wide margin. I have always been terrible at writing SQL, so this is amazing. Now look at this, Defog SQL Coder 70B, 93% on SQL eval. Here is GPT-4, 82%, and interestingly, the Defog SQL Coder, based on the 34 billion parameter Code Llama model, already was outperforming GPT-4 at 84%, but now we have 93%, a clear winner. SQL Coder is fine-tuned on Code Llama 70B model that was released yesterday on less than 20,000 hand-curated prompt completion pairs. And you can find it right here on Hugging Face. I'll drop that in the description below. This follows our 15B, 7B, and 34B models and is the most capable of them all. And it has a license that you are free to use, including commercial, as long as you also open source any changes you make to it. Now, just about six months ago, on August 24, 2023, they introduced Code Llama, the original Code Llama. And now they have an update, January 29th, which was yesterday, 2024, releasing Code Llama 70B. And as I already mentioned, they have Code Llama 70B, which is the foundational code model. They have the Python version, and then they have the Instruct version, which is fine tuned for understanding natural language instructions. So basically, like using ChatGPT. It is free for research and commercial use, and it's built on top of Llama 2. And in our own benchmark testing, Code Llama outperformed state of the art publicly available LLMs on Code Tasks. Now, Old Llama already released support for Code Llama 70B. Here it is, right here, 70B. And all you have to do is run Old Llama run Code Llama 70B. Now, it is a massive model, and I actually haven't tested it locally. I'm going to say it'll probably work, but it'll be extremely slow given it is such a massive model. If you want to see me test Code Llama 70B, let me know in the comments below. Okay, and I want to thank my friends at Mast Compute for providing me with a VM which has Code Llama 70B pre-installed on it. And I'm going to be using Mast Compute to power LM Studio 
to power Code Llama. And if you want to spin up a VM with beefy GPUs behind it and easily load up these models or have them loaded for you with all of my favorite tools pre-installed on the VM, check out Mass Compute. I'll drop a link in the description below. And it looks like the bloke already has a quantized version right there, but we're going to be using Second State's quantized version. So we already downloaded the Code Llama 70B Instruct quantized version by Second State. So let's give it a test. It is nearly 50 gigabytes, so huge. And right here it says it requires 30 gigabytes plus of RAM. So let's test it out. And remember, I'm running this completely on a virtual machine. All right, so here it is loaded up, second state Code Llama Instruct 70B quantized. Now the important thing to note is while using mass compute, because we have such beefy GPUs, we're gonna actually use full GPU acceleration. So on the right side here, you're gonna click GPU offload. And if we look at the help, it says this model has 80 layers. Unless you have a lot of VRAM, start small. But we have a lot of VRAM. So we're actually gonna select the full amount of GPU layers, 80. And you do have to reload the model to do that. So we do eject model, if you didn't already do that, and then go ahead and select the model. And we have 80 and GPU layers selected. So it should be very, very fast now. All right, it's done. Let's give it a quick test to make sure it's working. Write a method to output numbers one to 100. All right, interesting, it did it in JSX. I would think it would default to Python, but we're not using the Python specific model, so that's okay. Now it's giving me a second option, and that is Python. So it gave me one in JSX and one in Python. So let's go ahead and stop it. Now, when we get fine-tuned versions of this, they're gonna be much better at giving me exactly what I asked for because these are still the core models. So let's give it the test. Write the game Snake in Python. All right, here we go. All right, it's using Pygame, and yeah, I mean, it's not blazing fast, but it's still very, very fast for such a large model. Now, I don't think I'd be able to run this on my local machine, but I will test it out. And as I mentioned, if you wanna see me test this on a MacBook Pro M2 Max, let me know in the comments. And I'll mention I'm an investor in LM Studio, and this is the first video I'm putting out that includes LM Studio since I've become an investor. And from now on, I'm gonna put all disclosures in the description below, because I wanna be as transparent as possible. These are all tools that I'm extremely excited about, but I want you to know if I do have an interest in one of these projects. Wow, so yeah, it is outputting quite a lot of code. I'm not sure if this is gonna work, we'll see. Now, Dr. Tristan Behrens already posted that he got the Code Llama 70B model to generate Snake on his MacBook Pro. All right, wow, so I'm excited to test this locally, but here it is, the Snake game using Code Llama 70B. And this seems to be a great version of Snake. Now back to mine, it is still going, massive code. And if you remember my LLM rubric, there's only been two models in total that have been able to write the game Snake, Mixtral and Mistral Medium, which you can see right here. All the other models failed, including Llama 270B. Okay, so it actually looked like it finished and it's writing another version of it. I don't know why it's doing that. So I think it's done. We're just gonna copy everything that it did so far. So right click, copy message content. Let's switch back over to VS Code. I'm gonna paste this in now. Now I think, yeah, so it copied everything, which is not needed. So we don't need this pie at the top. I'm gonna to scroll down till I find the end of the code that we need, which is right here. And then everything after that, I don't need. So we're gonna go ahead and delete that. I don't want that either. All right, so a tiny bit of cleaning up. That's fine though. And it should work, although it doesn't have Pygame, so I might need to install that. So let's go ahead and let's save it and let's give it a try, click and play. All right, yep, no module found. So let's go ahead and do pip install Pygame. Okay, successfully installed. Hopefully it works now. Let's give it a try. All right, so it popped open for a second and then it closed and failed. So unfortunately it did not work. So I'm gonna keep playing around with this off camera and see if I can get it to work. We already know it can work. An X user already posted a version of Snake created by Code Llama 70B, so we know it works. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.